you guys, um, today I just wanted to make a quick video showing you around uh, my apartment and more or less just some upgrades I've made and just some do-it-yourself projects that I've completed recently just to kind of make my apartment nicer. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to share those with you. I've been having a lot of fun, um, kind of thrift store shopping, redecorating, that sort of stuff. I'm on spring break right now, so this is pretty much the only time I'm going to get to do this until... May again. So, um, yeah, it's been a lot of fun, and I just wanted to show you some new things around my apartment. Um, as well, I just kind of quickly, I'm going to scan you around the living room just because I realized last time when I was making my um, kind of apartment interior design video that it was so dark that you really could not see anything. So, I'm going to scan you around there really quick first, and then we'll move on. So, um, thanks, guys. Here we go. So now that we have some sun here, there we go. So here's the yellow wall, the pictures I was talking about. Um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to make sure that you guys could see. This is that bamboo rug. Got some cool driftwood on some bamboo. Coffee table. Pillows, record player. I've been loving having the windows open. It's finally, you know, nice enough here that we can can uh, do that and just get some fresh air in here. So that's been that's been awesome. Um, as well, we got this new motorcycle lamp that is so fun. We both love riding motorcycles. Someone actually gave us gave this to us for free, and it's been great. So. Yeah, those are pretty much, um, just kind of wanted to scan that for you really quickly. Alrighty. Let's move on. So most of the improvements I've done in my bedroom. And um, the first thing I wanted to mention, I hung up these three airplanes. These actually came from Steven's um, calendar here that he had. I have just like airplanes. This is a really old calendar. We just cut um, these airplane pictures out, hung them above the bed, just like this. And I really wanted to do this just because I wanted to kind of make the room a little bit more masculine. Um, I have a lot of my furniture in here and a lot of candles and pictures and everything like that. I just felt like it was lacking in some masculinity. So I chose these airplanes because I thought it was something that we could both, you know, kind of agree with and appreciate. Um, you know, Stephen loves airplanes and I think they're pretty cool too. I think these posters are great. Um, and I chose to, you know, make these uh, uh, kind of centerfold so that you know, it could reflect his style, his possessions, his thing. And as well, you know, it wouldn't drive me crazy. It wasn't too masculine or too, you know, not something like this, you know, which that's fine for the side, but over over the bed, um, I thought this would work really, really well. And I, I could kind of take his um, design and his interest and just kind of form them, you know, in a pattern and a design that would suit me as well. So that's just an idea, um, you know, if you're trying to add some masculinity into your room. So well, the second thing I've done here, so I've made this kind of like getting ready sitting area here. This is actually a chest that I found for free outside of my apartment. Needs a little TLC as you can see. Um, this is kind of coming apart and needs to be painted again. However, um, I just really like it. I've been holding blankets and fabrics in it right now. And yeah, it just works really well for you know setting things like shoes or things that I have to have for tomorrow on there. As well, I've got this full length mirror here just to kind of add some reflection light into the room. And then over here, I just painted this. I actually had this hanging out um, under my bed, and it was just this brown color. I didn't like it, never used it. And so I repurposed this to go in the bedroom. 
it's just a place to put, you know, jackets, my work shirt that I have to have every day, as well as, you know, a place to put my purse. All of these things kind of, since we had no hooks, no place to really put them, they pretty much just ended up on the floor or on the couch or on the dining room table. They really didn't have a place to go. So I made this and I think it'll work out really, really well and kind of goes well with this kind of staging area here. Um, I left it, you know, I let that brown show through. I didn't paint it, you know, super white. Um, just give it a little bit more rustic and worn look. But yeah, I think um, this summer I'm also going to tackle this dresser and paint it white as well so that it matches the bed, it matches this um, chest right here. Painting or staining furniture is just a great way to kind of make it look like your furniture is a set and all belongs together without actually having to buy a set of furniture very expensively or anything like that. So yeah, I think I'm going to paint this white and kind of take take some of those blues that I have in the airplanes and this pillow down to the dresser as well. So that'll be fun. Stay tuned for that. Um, the last, maybe last thing I did is um, I made these kind of string picture collages just using string and paper clips. And these are just um, really fun. Let me zoom you in. So yeah, super easy to make. Um, before I pretty much just had a collage of pictures that were all taped up in this area and it looked very, very cluttered and kind of chaotic. And this just looks a little bit more um, put together and mature. So I like that too. I think it's a good idea. It was really easy to do. It took me, you know, 15 minutes, I think. So yeah, these were some, um, bowls, wood bowls that I repurposed to put some just shells and bottle caps in. But yeah, I think that looks really good in that space with, you know, kind of the chair on each side and then the bookshelf. And yeah, it just kind of fits right in there. So, yep, that was there. Let me walk you on out here. I wanted to show you a couple things in the kitchen that I forgot to mention. This is just a little display that I made to go on our kitchen table. And I've had this thing forever. I don't know where I got it from, but it's super cute. And then some salt and pepper shakers. And then this awesome, like, sun that we got at, like, a kind of a flea market yard sale. And then I also forgot to show you, um, above our counters, we have a ton of books, cookbooks, and wine bottles, which are really cool. Really, um, just kind of add warmth to the room, which I, um, you know, always talk about in your apartment. I wanted to show you this. Kind of some collections there. I've been loving using my French, um, French press for coffee in the morning. Um, since my coffee maker actually broke, but that's been another kind of one of my favorites that I've been using. As well, just for the house. I've been really liking this Glade Tough Odor Solutions. We have a lot of odors in this house. Um, you know, having, dealing with a kitten and just, you know, just kind of in general. So I've been spraying this around a lot and I've definitely noticed an improvement. I really, really like how it works. Um, the only downside is that I've used a lot of it. So I've used that much in like a week. So I don't know if it's super practical for, you know, kind of every day, but um, that's something I've been using a lot around the house. So yeah, these are just kind of some I decorate and de decorating ideas. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.